Good morning everyone, this is Sachin with you on Talk Training Web Series. Um, I know it's Thanksgiving today and probably and I just thought I'd do a small video on user permissions in SharePoint. I think that's something which is very important. Um, with regards to this also I would like to you know introduce a solution called ShareXT uh, which is an external sharing portal where you'll be able to share your SharePoint sites to third party companies or you know third party contacts without them having a Microsoft account or a Hotmail account so that's one good product that we have and I'm just gonna go ahead and show how, how we manage users in SharePoint so this is a product doc which is a SharePoint uh, intranet portal which is which is built on top of Office 365 or SharePoint online it's got all the all the features like you know just specific to departments and we have projects portal we have an employee resources portal so it's a complete suite that is built on top of SharePoint online and Office 365 so I'm gonna show you how the users how, how to manage the users right now so I'm taking a test site and all you need to do is go to settings click on site settings the ne next thing that you need to do is go to site permissions okay all right so I have a list of users here so all I need to do is click on a specific user and start giving them permissions so I'm just gonna click on Adele Vance I'm gonna click and show what kind of permissions we have for SharePoint so this is for this particular user now there are different type of permissions that I can set one is full control and then I have design where you know I can view add or update delete approve and customize so it's like I have like close to like more than 10 type of permissions that I can set up for this particular user so you see he has full control he has an edit privilege uh, he has a contribute contributor privilege read limited access uh, also has a provision to create new subsites you can always always restrict that for new users if they, you don't want anyone to create a new subsite you can always disable that a view only permission or an approval permission so probably you can edit and approve pages list items and documents also you can manage hierarchy where you can create sites and edit pages list items and documents also like restricted read and restricted interface for translation this is something that's new that's come up in the 2016 interface so that's the type of permissions that you can set for particular users so something that you can do so it's a type you know it's a user of a SharePoint group so as you see here these are individual users now you can similarly do it for a particular group or you know instead of you know if you're having like 200 to 500 users it's, it's not going to be practical to go ahead and you know set up your permissions for each and each user so good thing is that you can add them in different different groups and you can apply the same permission levels for a particular group so like if you see here I have a group called designers I'm gonna click over there and click on edit user permissions so that's been reflected to the group of users or the users who belongs to this group so that's something that you can do all right so that's something that I really wanted to discuss about the user permissions which is really essential for an organization right because you don't want to give out entire access right so that's something that you can really uh, you know enable in your SharePoint also there's something called people and groups I just went through that um, so you can specify departments or probably a user you can go ahead and add new users and their details it should reflect in Delft so you have this as well gonna go ahead and type sharext.com I really recommend you to visit this website and try to learn more about what we offer in terms of external sharing it's something that it's been used by a couple of our clients have been already started using this as something which is very essential for every organization so I highly recommend using this so thank you very much and have a great day